Hello everyone, this is Dan Gramza and welcome to Gramza Market Studies for Friday, February 5th. Uh, for those of you attending the Traders Expo in New York, I'm going to have two free presentations uh, that I'll let you know about. One is on Sunday at 9 o'clock. Uh, we talk about directional option strategies. It's where how you and I identify, create, and I want to show a proprietary way that I sh look at trading options from the long side with a directional bias. Also on that Sunday morning, 9 o'clock, and Monday at 545, we're going to be talking about everything a stock trader needs to know about futures. What they are, how they function, and what you should be aware of if you've never traded futures before. So those are the two presentations. If you have some time, do come by. I'd look forward to meeting you. All right, let's start here with the S. No, start here with the Nasdaq market, and what we're seeing here is a market that's getting ready. Uh, Friday's the unemployment numbers. I expect a movement to the upside in the Nasdaq market. Didn't happen. It happened in the other indices, but it did not happen in the Nasdaq market. My bias is still for a move to the upside, unless we get something internationally that derails that type of behavior. Well, the euro continues stronger as the dollar is weaker across the board. And all we can look for in this market is unchanged to higher. Nothing telling us to be a seller. But I do think we should be cautious at these levels. And in the interest rate markets, we I was looking for a down day on Thursday. Uh, we didn't get that kind of follow through in the notes. I do look for that on Friday. But in the bonds, we did trade below that bearish level. And the difference between the bullish and bearish level in bonds is $2,125 a contract. Again, just to give you a feel for that magnitude of change. Gold continues working its way higher. I, this is another market I feel cautious about. Nothing telling us to be a seller. And if you and I are long, we just want to manage that position. And I do look for follow through to the upside. In the crude oil market, it tried to go higher, but it failed. And I think that is the right behavior. Uh, I don't look for follow through here. And I know it's complex because of the impact it has in other markets. But right now, I do look for a down day on Friday. In the grain market, soybeans made an attempt to the upside, but failed. I think that makes sense. And I look for further movement to the downside. Well, that concludes today's market studies. Thank you for being with me and I'm looking forward to being with you again tomorrow. In the meantime, take care.